We begin with Vice President Harris sitting down with that interview with CNN alongside her running mate, Governor Tim Walz. Ben Brown with our ABC 15 political team talking to Harris supporters to see if they feel she answered their questions. The interview didn't didn't really help or hurt. Um, like I said, I wish they would have uh, kind of concentrated more on the issues, the tasks at hand. Chris, who has worked nearly three decades in pharmaceutical sales, said while he is supporting Harris, he still has questions following the vice president's first interview as the Democratic presidential nominee. When we came in, our highest priority was to do what we could to rescue America. And today, we know that we have inflation at under 3%. A lot of our policies have led to the reality that America recovered faster than any wealthy nation around the world. Harris underscored her push to create an opportunity economy through her child tax credit expansion, down payment assistance for first-time homebuyers, and targeting price gouging. I don't want to downplay the um, the ch child tax credits. Um, you know, I don't want to downplay the first-time homebuyers. Those are huge, huge, huge things. Um, but there is a significant amount of the population that that's not really going to be very helpful for. Um, so it's it's really what are you going to do overall to help, you know, the entire middle class, not just, you know, certain subset subgroups of the middle class. While other Harris voters thought the vice president came off strong and poised. The most important and most significant aspect of my policy perspective and decisions is my values have not changed. Specifically when it came to addressing her change in policy stances. We don't want a leader that it's my way or the highway. We want someone that's open to change based off of, you know, um, bipartisan support. So, you know, I thought that that was actually a good sign. Former President Donald Trump called out Harris at his rally in Pennsylvania Friday for changing her views. And now she's changed everything. In fact, I think she is going to soon apply for give me an application for joining MAGA. <laughs> While Trump's running mate, J.D. Vance, told CNN if Harris wanted to address the affordability crisis, she should have done so while she served as VP. Harris and Trump will square off in their first presidential debate on September 10th, right here on ABC 15. For the ABC 15 political team, I'm Ben Brown.